My name is Joseph Bavaria. I'm the Vice Chair uh, of the Department of Cardiac Surgery at the University of Pennsylvania. I practice in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm the director of the Thoracic Aortic Surgery Program. I've been in practice uh, as an attending cardiac surgeon for approximately 20 years. Uh, I've done about 6,000 open heart operations, of which 4,000 are cardiac valve related. Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com. Very happy to be here with Dr. Joseph Bavaria. Dr. Bavaria, could you tell us what attracted you to the field of cardiac surgery? My next door neighbor actually was a vascular surgeon and that's what got me into the surgical field and maybe the vascular surgical field a little bit uh, very early on in my career. But fundamentally, I was a chemical engineer uh, and I went to uh, medical school after chemical engineering and one of my early mentors was a cardiac surgeon uh, and based on not only the clinical aspects of cardiac surgery but on kind of the, the, the biophysics aspects of, of uh, cardiac surgery and that's what got me hooked uh, right away and it was uh, cardiac surgery was it ever since then. Do you specialize in a particular type of valve surgery? Yes, uh, most of the valve surgeries that I do are aortic valve related. Um, sometimes that's at the aortic root level, which is more of a complex uh, aortic valve operation, and I do a very, uh, uh, I do a lot of those, maybe 200 to 225 a year. In our patient community, we hear a lot about mitral valve repair. However, we almost never hear about aortic valve repair. Why is that? Well, aortic valve repair is just simply not mature. The, the actual fundamentals, uh, the conceptual background to understanding how to repair an aortic valve was not really developed uh, until recently. The big difference between an aortic valve repair and a mitral valve repair conceptually is that it's in three dimensions and not two dimensions. The, the aortic valve is a three-dimensional valve uh, as opposed to a mitral valve, which is a two-dimensional valve. So uh, aortic valve repair uh, has uh, we just don't we just didn't understand it quite as much but now we're starting to understand it a lot we're in the third dimension uh, and we're able to repair these valves in the x y and z plane so dr bavaria what type of patients are candidates for aortic valve repair well the first uh, criteria for candidacy for aortic valve repair is to have a valve that's uh, fundamentally leaky or, uh, or insufficient we call it uh, and also has only a minimal amount of calcium or no calcification if it's too calcified we can we can't really repair it um, that's the fundamental thing. Now the second thing is, which, which we can only uh, tell once we get inside, is are the leaflets uh, intact enough to actually you know, take a repair stitch. Uh, but if you have that, we're at the stage where we can repair a lot of valves. Now, we can repair three cusp valves, okay, and we can repair bicusp aortic valves. We can repair both, both types of valves, as long as those criteria are uh, satisfied. Again, not too much calcification, pure aortic valve insufficiency. We got those, we're in good shape. Dr. Bavaria, what are the surgical outcomes for an aortic valve repair procedure? Uh, the results are excellent. Um, they range from anywhere between 90 to 95 percent freedom from reoperation at 10 years. Uh, and in our personal series, we have no reoperations yet. Uh, and more importantly, with a more robust and kind of advanced techniques, we're getting a situation where we have 95 percent freedom from uh, a significant aortic valve insufficiency. So it's a very, very good uh, operation. Uh, for the patients who qualify. What is the number one piece of advice you would offer a patient who is considering aortic valve repair? Well, the most important thing about someone who's electively considering aortic valve repair is to go to a surgeon who has the experience and the technical knowledge, the conceptual depth to be able to do the procedure itself. That requires a certain amount of experience, a number of cases that they've done, uh, and maybe even a publishing record of some sort so you can tell, you know, is this guy really doing the operation and really doing it well? Um.